good day everyone, Stephen Dupria here, head coach for CQC Systems and today I'm going to be talking with you a bit about myofascial slings. So just to give you a very brief uh, overview about what they are. So a myofascial sling or fascia, fascia is a connective tissue in the body. It's a very broad term to, um, that covers many different types of connective tissue. So fascia is connective tissue. What you need to know is that this connective tissue, uh, one of the primary functions of it in the body, other than giving the body support, is elasticity. So you can think of your muscles as being contractile strength. You know, pulls in, contracts, lifts. You know, you've got uh, protagonist and antagonist, you know, tricep, bicep. These are contractile functions. And then you get um, the fascia, which is elastic in nature. This is tissue in the body like uh, you've probably heard of plantar fascia. So plantar fascia is an aponeurosis. It's a basically a thick clump of tissue of fascia. And you must remember now, fascia is continuous, but there's a very thick piece of it under your feet. This gives you spring in your feet when you walk and when you run. So sprinters use the plantar fascia to sprint. We use it in everyday life if we're walking by a minute biomechanically correctly. Uh, there's also a very notable one that I will mention now, which is the thoracolumbar fascia. So this is another, again, a very thick, very elastic sheet of this connective tissue that's included into the body, integrated in and around the muscles. So we're going to talk a bit about how that fascia becomes slings. So it, there's certain structures in the body, certain myofascial structures or systems that are arranged in the body that have very specific purposes. And today we're just going to be covering, uh, well, we'll start with two. So having a look in the front of the body, there you can, if you imagine drawing an X from my top of my shoulder here, across and plugging into my hip. Here you get what's referred to as an anterior oblique sling. So anterior just means in front, oblique just means diagonal. So you've got vertical, horizontal, oblique. So front, diagonal, sling. And this is a myofascial sling that runs across here. This is used by javelin throwers, sprinters, uh, shock putters. Uh, it's very, very evident in the javelin throw. So as you can see here, the distance, so what I'm actually doing, if let's say hypothetically I'm throwing a javelin, is I want to increase the distance where this tissue runs across here into my pelvis, down across, and actually connects into my internal adductors here and runs down into the legs. So what I want to do is stretch that tissue. So I want to anchor my base leg and stretch the distance. Open, open, open. So I want to open this hip, extend through the hip, open, open, pull back the shoulder. And you'll see this is why karate, uh, in karate, this is why, well, one of the reasons why they pull this hand back like that. So if you can see, I'm going to come nice and close so you can just see the torso action of this. So if I'm standing neutrally, I have very little potential energy in my body, very little potential energy in this fascia, in these systems. So what I want to do is load these systems with a cross force. So I, this force is extending out and back. So you're getting a cross tension, like you're stretching a rubber band. So I'm going, ha, and you can probably see it. So I'm just going to, ha, ha. And if I bounce and relax, you'll see I automatically want to come forward. So that's what we want. We want to load the system and remove all the slack and tension the elastic component of this fascia. From there, you want to hold that because now you've got stored energy, stored elastic energy. So I can hold that stored elastic energy in this torqued fascia and then I can ah, release it. Ah. Okay, so that's what's happening with a javelin throw. Stepping in. And stretching this sling, anterior oblique sling. Stretch, 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 stretch. Obviously, you've got a running forward momentum, so that your center of mass has a forward potential, which is going to carry your center of mass over your lead leg. So, stand here. You're going to be running forward momentum, plant to create a hinge to create angular momentum forward with your horizontal momentum of running. And then you want to combine, so a summation of forces, you want to combine that forward momentum, pivoting over angular velocity into this oblique sling. And then you're transmitting that into the javelin. 
Okay, same thing with a punch. So I can load. There's different ways of loading the sling. So you can play with variations uh, of pelvic position. So each part of the body you can tweak to create tensions in different parts of different slings. So let me, I'll just demonstrate a couple punches. I'm gonna end this off there. I don't wanna to run too long um, on this topic. I'll definitely come back to it and we'll approach it from different angles and discuss different components of it. But yeah, I don't wanna to get too detailed from the get go. Okay, so loading this fascia, you need good anchor points, you need good connection with the floor. Then you need to have good neuromuscular control and proprioceptive awareness in your body to fix this um, cross tension. Because the cross tension you'll feel comes into the pelvis. You've got to have the right amount of glute activation, the right amount of hamstring activation, right amount of everything activation. You've got to cinch everything up. You know, you're not tightening up, but you've got to cinch. You've got to remove slack from the system. So like this is a lot of slack everywhere. It's very you're, uh, very uh, inefficient in terms of energy propagation. The medium of my body is very broken and disjointed. So what I want to do is structure my body tension that it's not tight, but I've cinched everything up so I don't have this unnecessary space of, you know, just like you would spin up a towel to tauten it up so you can flick it. You want to stretch the band elasticity of the different systems in your body just a little bit, just to get a feel for them. So you've got this potential that you can go either way depending on which anchor point you're using. You know, you can move this side of your body, create a potential and then release it. Or vice versa, you've got, you know, these anchor points, these bones, and you've got them grounded. You can shift those ones, maximize the potential. You've got the potential, hold, release. Potential, hold, release, shoot the other way. <sighs> okay, so you play with these elastic potentials within the body. Again, uh, now you can start this <laughs> summation of forces. You can play with elastic potential. You can always play, uh, you can combine that with driving potential of you know muscular drive and momentum, forward momentum of your total body mass combined, summated with the elastic potential as well. So you're getting a summation of forces, drive, elastic potential. Wow! You can combine <coughs> gravity, so you can use gravity as well. Uh, this, so you've got difference between shifting your mass, leaning your mass to create a potential that kind of just wants to go that way due to gravity, the nature of gravity on your body. So you can, okay, we're going to go into, I'll touch on these all individually later. But yeah, so you've got shifting your center of mass, but leaning your center of mass. It's two different things, two different effects. You can combine both of them, but dropping your center of mass. And now you can, then you've got rotating your center of mass and elastic potential. And you can tweak all these little components in different ways to, um, yeah, to get different outcomes, to create different amounts of momentum with different power bands. Some will have a power band very early on in the movement. Some will have a delayed uh, loading phase where, they just, where you store a lot of potential energy and then wah, release it. So yeah, you can play with the body, storing energy, releasing energy, propagating energy. Um, yeah, so we'll touch on that as well. So yeah, elastic recoil. Anterior oblique sling. Wow! Ah, next time we'll touch on the uh, posterior oblique sling. It's a counter component. So you've got the X in the front, you've got an X in the back as well. Body's amazing. Uh, yeah, the body architecture, geometry, physics. anatomy, all these different components that come into play. It's awesome. We're going to touch on it. I hope you learned something today. Much love. And yeah, please like, subscribe, share. And yeah, I'm going to do more videos and we'll, we'll learn a little bit more in the future. Stephen Dupreeze. Cheers, cheers.